Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Wase here and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can solve the problem that whenever you are exporting or rendering a video in Adobe Premiere Pro it is not using the dedicated graphic card like Nvidia or AMD but it is using the built-in Intel graphic cards which is resulting in lower, uh, longer rendering time. So I'm going to show you how you can fix this problem. Let's begin the video. Before I begin to show you how you can solve this problem, you might have a question that why should we even use the dedicated graphic card for rendering our videos? Well, the simplest answer is that whenever you're going to use your dedicated graphic cards like Nvidia or AMD, whichever you have on your laptop or PC, then it is going to result in lower rendering time, meaning that you're going to get your output video much faster as compared to using the built-in graphics here i am on my windows pc the first thing that you need to know is to make sure that whether you have a dedicated graphic card or not if you have a pc then you can simply look into your pc and see if it has a graphic cards if you have a laptop like mine then you can look for the nvidia sticker or the amd sticker on your laptop but the most best way is to just simply go to the windows icon and type device manager open device manager here you're going to see it says display adopters press on it and here if you're going to see two display adopters mainly the first one is going to be the built-in graphics and the second one is going to be your dedicated graphics card in my case i have the nvidia geforce gts 1650 so the first thing that i recommend is that first of all update the drivers of your graphic card if there are any because this is going to help a lot if you have an nvidia graphic card then all you're going to do is to go here and most probably you're going to have this nvidia settings right click on it and you're going to go to the nvidia geforce experience section here on the top it says drivers press on drivers and you're going to press on check for updates here you can see it says you have the latest nvidia studio drivers so in this way you can tell whether you have the latest drivers or not if you are unable to find it from here you can just simply google for the latest drivers according to your graphics card now the second thing that you're going to do is that first of all you're going to disable the built-in graphics card uh, so whenever you're going to do this this is going to make your pc or laptop consume more power than usual because even for low tasks it is going to use your dedicated graphic cards but for the higher performance in premiere pro i really recommend that you disable the internal graphics so you can enable them in the future as well all you're going to do is to press on your intel graphics right click on them and you're going to press on disable device you're going to press on yes the screen may go black for a little time and then you're going to go back once your internal graphics have been disabled you're going to close this again you're going to press on the windows button and now you're going to type graphics settings basically it's going to show up press on graphics settings you're going to press on the browse button and now you're going to browse for Adobe Premiere Pro. So basically it's usually in, uh, I think so, in local disk C, program files, Adobe. Here it is, Adobe Premiere Pro 2023. You're going to go down and find the Premiere Pro.exe file. Press on add. And from here, you're going to press on the options button and you're going to select high performance GPU, Nvidia GeForce GTX 1650. After that, we're going to again press right click on our NVIDIA icon and we're going to go to the NVIDIA control panel. If you're an AMD user, the things are going to be a little bit different. You're going to press on program settings and here you're going to press on add program. So again, you're going to find Premiere Pro from here and you're going to press on add selected program. Now here are some things that we need to change. First of all, you're going to select high performance NVIDIA processor. We're going to go down and we're going to do some changes here as well. For anti-aliasing gamma correction, you're going to select and you're going to disable this option. We're going to go down. Here it says open GL generating GPU. You're going to select it and you're going to select NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 or whichever graphic card you have beneath it it says power management mode you're going to select it and you're going to select prefer prefer maximum performance we're going to go up where it says CUDA GPUs if your GPU has CUDAs you're going to select it and you're going to select use these GPUs NVIDIA G4 GTX 1650 press on OK and it should say all 
here it says texture filtering try linear optimization select it and disable it after that we're going to press on apply now what i recommend that you restart your pc first and then we're going to open premiere pro here i have opened adobe premiere pro where i have this 1080p video which duration is around 50 minutes 42 seconds and the location is documents for now and i'm going to press on export now you can see that the rendering time is going to increase a little bit so we're going to just simply go to the task manager and here if i go to processes here you can see the main gpu is our nvidia geforce gtx and now it's going to use it to its maximum which means that we're going to get much faster rendering or lower rendering times or export time and you can see that the estimated time remaining is 32 minutes 45 seconds whereas with the internal gpu when it was not using the dedicated graphic card the export time was around three hours and some minutes so yeah guys in this way you can solve the problem that your premiere pro is not using your dedicated graphic cards if you guys like this video like share subscribe if you have any other questions write them in the comment section below and if you have subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and as always stay safe